Seems like yesterday, when we were just chilling and talking about what we wanted to do, if we ever left Silver City, we talked to traveling the world and making art, and all I wanted to do was be with my homegirl, kicking up dust and living wild and crazy, always acting foolish. I got these two homegirls, todo corazón. We were always together, through thick and thin, family. They call us hermanas. Sometimes we act like we are rich and live in the suburbs, como los huelos. But then I look around and I feel like there's no other place but Silver City. It's home. Everything seems all fucked up since my dad's been gone. My corazón still hurts and I get that lump in my throat when I think of the last time we hung out together and what we talked about. Mundo is my big bro. We have the same mom, just different dads. He is a neighborhood borracho. He says he's an artist, but so many people think he is just a loco. He is cool when he ain't all fucked up talking drunk shit. He had a girl one. He loves the shit out of her. But we all knew that bitch was trifling. She cheated on him with his best friend at the time, and bitch got pregnant. He has been fucked up ever since. I miss my dad a lot. He always protected us. He would always tell me, Flaca, you have goals? You need to start thinking about your future and where you want to go in life. I would tell him, I'm good. I like my life. I have plenty of time to worry about my future. I want to have fun. Smiley's always grinning, like her mind is always telling her jokes. We have been neighbors since I can remember. Always playing jump rope. We would walk to and from school together, singing Madonna songs all the time. We were going to start a music group together and make it big. We were going to be Hollywood. That's what we would call it. Smiley's always looking for her next high. She's had a rough growing up. Her dad was never around. He loved the lady so much. The asshole bounced when she was just a baby. And her mom is always trying to find a rich motherfucker to take care of her. Never caring about her kids. I worry about this chick day and night. She's my sister for life. I tell her all the time, bitch, you're stupid. Gonna be like my bro Mundo all fucked up on la calle, smelling like mouths and shit. <laughs> but she laughs and says, bitch, I'm not that bad. What a Smiley's prima. She moved to Silver City when we were starting sixth grade and lived two blocks away. What a sucker for love. Nothing but losers is what makes her heart beat fast. I feel like one day Prince Charming will come and sweep her off her feet. Like this chick is seven girl. months pregnant. We all think she's having a little chola. <laughs> we sit around and think of names for her, laughing and making up shit for the future. Her main love and baby daddy is locked up. He got popped two months ago for selling to an undercover and got five. It sucks. He was a down ass bottle, just had some fucked up ways. What else keeping business steady? She got a baby to get ready for. And getting a real nine to five just won't work. So today's my birthday, the big one nine. It feels just like another day. I guess I should want to tear it up for my day, but I'm not really feeling it. My homegirls are trying to plan up something to get into, but all I wish for and want will never come true. Lately, I haven't been real clear with my thoughts. I've been walking around in a blurred out haze. In two days is an anniversary of my dad's death. It seems like all I want to do is live in the past with all the memories. Flaca is what my familia and my homegirls call me. Born and raised on these streets, rolling deep and dreaming big. (laughs) I like to shoplift. I got into this when I was 13. Man, it gets my blood pumping. Smiley and wet are always trying to get me to chill out with taking shit. But I tell them real fast, bitch, don't judge me. Y'all's got y'all's own problems y'all need to fix. They say, calm down, ho. We just don't want shit to go bad for you. Damn, I feel like shit can't get no worse. My mom is always working. More and more ever since dad died. Working doubles all the time. Waitress by day and cleaning offices by night. And when she ain't working, she's paying bills. I always think, What if I hit a big lick? Then my mom could chill, not have to work so hard, trying to keep us from going homeless. It sucks. I know I need to do better, 
But it's tough to try to let this street life go. It's what I know and I believe in. I had this dream the other night that I was all dressed up and I was dancing with my dad. There were people there. I just couldn't see their faces. I felt so happy. And my dad was smiling and staring into my eyes. He looked so handsome. We were dancing and he pulled me closer and he whispered in my ear, Mi Angel, I'm okay. I love you. Just be safe and think straight with whatever you do. Because we all, we all only have one life to live. Make it the best you can. Then I woke up. It felt so real. All my life, well, since I can remember, I was taught to have beliefs. Jesucristo, La Virgen, always keeping the faith. Believe in what you can't see, but just know that it is real. Out here on these streets, with all the fucked up shit that happens, sometimes you question, is there a heaven above? I believe there is a heaven for a G. Smiley's been blowing up my phone all day. She said there's going to be a big old house party at one of our homeboys' cribs. And she wants us to go party over there since it's my birthday. Smiley, Weda, and me. Hermanas. Living la vida loca. Can't picture my life any different. These chicks have seen me at my worst and at my best. Always trying to make sure I'm keeping my head up. They got my back 24-7. Keeping it real. That night, Weta went into labor, dude. Baby Blanca was going to make her debut. It was crazy. On my birthday, a new life was going to enter our clique. New beginnings for this, mijita. Avenue D.